Welcome back, folks. Okay, so since we're on map overview, wanted to do one for the Barbarian Armor, since that one is really spread out all over the place. Uh, quick, easy way to get into these labyrinths for the Barbarian Armor. So you could go through the whole thing, try to get through their mazes, and it's just really time-consuming, very difficult. There are some treasure chests, you know, and some weaponry sitting around, but, you know, me personally, I just go for it, get and get it done. Now, there are two treasure chests relatively easy to get, and the very two center pillars here on the outsides. So on that side and that side, you'll find ladders and some decent treasure chests in there. I think one's a silver rupee, can't remember the other. But either way, if you want them, there they are. So how to get in, that's where you want to be. So what I recommend, just climb the walls, or you know, when you fly, climb in and just stay on the top up here. And uh, make your way over to this spot right here, and jump down, and you will see... Excuse me. You will see two lit torches go in there, go up the ladder, and you'll go around a big long hallway with stairs all the way around, and you'll eventually get dumped into the part where the shrine is. And inside you will have your blessing and your first piece of barbarian armor. Now, this is also a secret underground area, so when you're done with the shrine, only in after you finish getting your spirit orb, come out, there will be an updraft. Jump down into the updraft, uh, use your paraglider to kind of help cushion your fall, and you'll be in a big open underground room. This whole thing is one big open room. Turn on your yellow rune to make sure you know where the enemies are going to be, but they will not turn themselves on unless you get the treasure chest in the middle. So what I recommend is don't do that. Uh, either go around and kill all the stuff first and then get the treasure chest in the middle, which is the uh, circlet, the diamond circlet thing. Uh, also down there you will find a DLC treasure chest, the travel gates, or the teleportation rumors, whatever. Alright, so that's the first one for Barbarian Armor. The second one we did was over here in the Hebra area. North to Bantha Snowfield, I guess you can call it. Now this one, a little trickier. Uh, you want to jump down right there in that spot. Same kind of idea, folks. Just kind of, you know, get up to the top, use your climbing gear, whatever. And uh, jump down into that little upside down u-shaped looking thing uh, and you'll see some electric uh, blobs down there so lob a couple bombs down in there get rid of the electric blobs and then you don't have any worries and what you're looking for is when you get down there look up and to the right and you will see like a little ledge or walkway climb up onto that it's about halfway up follow it kind of north and then take a sharp left and you'll be in this hallway and it's like right there where that dark bar is on the map and it'll take you right in there now if you want some extra treasure right in front of the shrine climb the wall and it'll bring you up into like an upstairs area a little cavern and there's like three treasure chests up there with some really good bounty so that's the second piece of barbarian armor last but not least we have the one down here in gerudo this one's a little trickier. Same idea. Climb to the top of the labyrinth here, the walls. Now right here where this big thick stripe is, on this side of it, uh, jump down. Now be careful, there's a uh, malice down here. So you probably want to jump down over here somewhere and then walk this direction underneath where some malice is overhead and uh, take a right and that'll bring you into another open area, kind of underground. And then look for the two lit torches, should be over here somewhere. And that, folks, will drop you down once again into the shrine. Alright folks, I hope that helps with the Barbarian set. Happy hunting, best of luck, until the next time.